we don't have enough AMP mechanics. We know that. Uh, Industry-wide, uh, this is a huge problem. The, the, a lot of the ones that they have now are going to be retiring soon. For whatever reason, there was a big kind of a blob of them that came out all at one time, and a lot of them will be going away. And then there are more places where somebody like Boeing, for instance, has to have an AMP mechanic now, and before they wouldn't necessarily have had to be an AMP. You don't have a lot of the folks coming in the door when you need to be pumping a lot of them out because it's a very high demand industry uh, and we're you know constantly looking for good quality people for the demands of the industry so i think in putting with the you know this this is the directions of the from the state down you know from the top down with the governor and putting together these different groups is to bring us all together into one package to uh, get everybody on the same page so that we can deliver the best of instruction, instruction, turn out the best possible mechanic, and it's, and it's for the good of the state and for industry, and, and I think the students you know, is, will ben benefit by that. As an apprenticeship program, we also are training people to become AMP mechanics. The FAA allows for two ways to get your AMP license. One is by going to a certified Part 147 school, and the other is by work experience. People get enough experience to uh, on the job in order to go take their A&P license. And one of two things happens. One is either people are too scared because they know they don't know enough information about the other pieces, so they never go even try, or they go try and they fail because they don't have that information. So what we're doing is we are trying to improve their success rate. Uh, we're helping these folks feel confident to walk into uh, the FAA and get their certificate to go take the test and to pass and we're helping them do that part. <laughs>